Hello class, my name is Thompson. I'm a trainer at Rubavu Technical Corporate We are going to complete together the second part of our module, which is called Basics of Electronics. In today's topic, we are going to see apply passive component. As we are learning together, I invite everyone to take some note and do a practical exercise as we are learning together. Firstly, you may ask yourself, what is passive component? Is all electronic component that consume or store electrical charge. For example, a resistor is a passive component that is used to oppose the current flow in electronic circuit. That means it's used to reduce the current flow. Type of resistor. As you can see, there are two types of resistor. Fixed resistor, as you can see, as you already know, is a passive component, and the electronic symbol of a resistor is that one. It's a variable resistor, like LDR. This resistor are frequently used as light sensor. This resistor are mainly used when there is a need to sense the absence and the presence of light, such as alarm clock, light intensity, meter, and so on. And as you can see, that is the electronic symbol of LDR. Potential meter. A potential meter is a three terminal resistor with a sliding or rotating contact that forms an adjustable voltage divider. If only two terminal are used, one end and the wiper it acts as a variable resistor or rail start. As you can see, that is the electronic symbol of potential meter. A thermistor is a type of resistor whose resistance is depend on temperature more so than in standard resistor. The word is a combination of thermal and resistor. Thermistor are widely used in, in large current remitter, temperature sensor, and so on. As you can see, that is the electronic symbol of a thermistor. And so on. Capacitor is a two-terminal passive component that has two parallel plates separated by insulator and used to temporarily store energy in the form of an electrical charge. Type of capacitor, as you can see, they are ceramic capacitor. See, this one is called electrolytic capacitor, which is mostly used in electronic circuit. Paper capacitor, mica capacitor, and so on. Inductor, also called coil, is a passive component with two terminal electrical current that store energy in a magnetic field when electrical flow through it. As you can see, by the use of a digital multimeter, we are going to measure passive component. You may also use LC meter in order to measure them. As you can see, we are going to start by a resistance. As you can see, by the help of LC meter, we are now measuring the resistance. The next one is the capacitor. And also, you may measure the capacitor by the use of LC meter. It's to set the LC meter through the capacitance and then by the use of the probe of our meter, we start measuring the value of this capacitor. As you can see at your own screen, you do it slowly and carefully. After that, we are going to measure the inductor. As I already told you, LC meter will help us to measure inductance, resistance, and the capacitance. Now, we are setting where our LC meter and as you can see at your own screen, we are starting measuring the value of this LC meter which is embedded to this circuit. Everything you do, you do it according to the way you set your LC meter or your digital multimeter while you are measuring any passive component. Thank you for your attention. This is the end of our session. Our next topic we will see apply active component. As we are running together, I hope you took some note and you keep doing practical exercise with me. See you next time. Enjoy.